you know, the really interesting thing about Harvey Weinstein and you choosing these exceptionally difficult cases is also thinking about what it means to defend evil people. What, what it means to defend these, we could say unpopular, and you might push back against the, the word evil, but bad people in society. Um, first of all, do you think there's such a thing as evil or do you think all people are good and it's just circumstances that create evil? And also, is there somebody too evil for the law to defend? And so that's a so the first question. That's a deep uh, philosophical question: whether the category of evil uh, does any work uh, for me. <laughs> uh, it it does for me. I I do think that uh, I do subscribe to that category that there is uh, evil uh, in the world as conventionally uh, understood. So uh, so there are many who will say, yeah, that just doesn't doesn't do any work for me. Uh, but uh, the Category evil, in fact, does intellectual work for me, and I, I understand it as as, as something that uh, that uh, exists. Um, is it genetic, or is it the circumstance? Like, what what kind of work does it do for you intellectually? I think that it's uh, it's highly contingent. That is to say, that the conditions in which one grows up and so forth uh, 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 begins to create this category that we may think of as evil. Now, there are um, studies and, and, and whatnot that show that uh, certain um, uh, brain abnormalities and so forth are, are more prevalent in, say, serial killers. So there may be a biological predisposition to certain forms of conduct, but um, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't have the... Uh, biological evidence to make a statement that someone is born evil and and you know I, i'm i'm not a determinist thinker in that way so you come out the womb evil and you're destined to be that way um to the extent there may be biological uh determinants uh there still require some uh, uh nurture uh, as well uh, so but do you still put a responsibility for the on the individual of course Yes, yeah, we all make choices, and so some responsibility uh, on the individual. Indeed, we live in a culture, unfortunately, where a lot of people have a constellation of bad choices in front of them, and that mm -hmm. makes me very sad. Yeah, um, that the people grow up with with predominantly bad choices in in front of them and that's unfair and that's that that's on all of us uh but yes i do think we make we make choices wow that's so powerful the constellation of bad choices hey that's such a powerful way to think about sort of equality which is this the set of trajectories before you that you could take if you just roll the dice is uh, you know, life is is a kind of optimization problem. Sorry to take us into math over a set of trajectories, under imperfect information. Uh, so you're gonna do a lot of stupid shit, <laughs> to put it uh, in technical terms. Uh, but uh, the 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 fraction of the trajectories that take you into into bad places or into good places is really important, and that's ultimately what we're talking about. And evil might be just a little bit of a predisposition biologically, but the rest is just trajectories that you can take.